have some news today. First, the good news is that Eclipse has received its first round of or its first funds and a new round of financing. And this round of financing will lead us to positive cash flow. But as part of the terms of that commitment and agreements that had to be made with our debt investors uh, to secure the agreement to clear the way for those investments, uh, there's been a required change in leadership in the company. So effective today, I am stepping down as president and CEO of Eclipse Aviation and will be leaving the company effective today. Taking my place will be our chairman, Roll Peeper, who is here today, and I'll be introducing in a moment, who will be the acting CEO of Eclipse, effective immediately. So number one, the company is safe, we have investors, we have funding, and we move forward. Um, as you will see, you know, I've been in these situations before, both sides of the line, coming and going. Uh, these changes are tough, but they need to happen. Companies move from, you know, creative and research to another phase, and that is normal. And these changes are tough. I respect Vernon enormously. Uh, I commend him on all the work that has been done, and without that, obviously, this company wouldn't be here. It is now the task of the investors, the funding, the employees, to move this Oh. Vern, obviously not the best of news. Uh, the easiest question to ask right now is, what happened? Well, I think it's pretty much just what I've said, is that uh, the, as, as we've said, the company has uh, a significant amount of secured debt. Uh, that was one of the ways that we financed the company in the last two years. And those note holders uh, demanded as a part of clearing the decks for the next round of financing that they didn't have any faith in me and they wanted me to to leave the company and it's really just that simple uh, there's there's no smoking guns or hidden corpses or skeletons in the closets or anything like that and and frankly uh, these things happen in, in business uh, Gordon Gecko's alive and well uh, as, the, as the cover of Business Week said last week you know Wall Street ate the economy and this is one of the things that happens is, uh, in particular, debt holders uh, tend to view the world through the eyes of this is their money, and when they don't like the way the money's being spent, they do things to change things. And so that's the simplest and, frankly, the most accurate explanation. What happens now with Eclipse, and more important, what recommendations uh, are you, that you're willing to share will you be giving to the new management? Well. Let's, uh, let's clarify one thing. There's not really new management. Uh, Roll has been deeply involved in the company uh, for about a year now uh, since we really started talking about significantly expanding our partnership with E-Turk uh, throughout not just uh, Eastern Europe but all of Europe and, and into Russia. Um, he has been a major investor in the company. In fact, uh, E-Turk is the largest single equity investor in the company. Uh, and since uh, late, late last year, in January actually of this year, and he's been chairman of the company since uh, February. So he's very, very involved. And so to say there's going to be big changes in management, there's no other changes planned, as we just said. And so he knows the company very well. He understands fundamentally what, what needs to be done. In terms of what's going to happen with Eclipse, what's going to go forward, I only see one thing, which is the company's going to continue to succeed. What are you going to do next? I haven't the foggiest idea. Uh, this has all happened in an extraordinarily, extraordinarily fast fashion. Um, probably the best comment was by the widow of a very close friend of mine who was unfortunately uh, killed in a plane crash a couple of years ago. And she was telling me the other night, she said, you just went through the equivalent of losing your wife in a plane crash. And you're going to have to take some time and understand what that means and what you're going to do. So I have no plans except to hop in an Eclipse 500 and fly to Idaho here in an hour or two and go fishing with a very close friend on uh, uh, the Snake River and see if I can snag some big brownies uh, for, the for the next few days. And beyond that, I have no idea. It's got to be safe to say that we're always going to see an aviation, though. Like I say, I have no idea. I mean, I'm very fascinated with the energy problems this nation faces. Uh, I'm very, very fascinated with 
you know, how there might be solutions in that. Uh, I'm fascinated with nanotechnology. Um, one of the blessings slash curse of my life has always been that um, some people accuse me of being uh, ADD, uh, but no, I think of it more as I just have a, a real broad set of interests. And clearly I have a love, a passion, a, a, a profoundly deep knowledge of aviation. And so I think there's huge opportunities in aviation. Uh, what we're seeing in the light sports sector now, uh, I think at the very high end of the business market in the supersonic sector, some very, very exciting things that are happening here. Uh, I think there's going to be some exciting new technology in the airline sector too, in the air transport sector. Uh, Pratt Whitney's new geared turbofan um, is is a true game changer, and they've got GE, you know, back on their heels, and they've got Rolls Royce even further back on their heels, and so it's going to be interesting to see what happens next year. So I don't know. I, I literally, truly don't know. There's no hidden agenda here. There's no plan, because I wasn't thinking about, you know, doing anything other than coming to Oshkosh this year and selling the bejesus out of the 400. Um, that's not going to happen. So. It'll take a while. For whatever it's worth, you changed an industry, and and no other way to put it, you put on a hell of a show. If you can't have some fun. What's what's the point? So it, this has been fun. It's been a it's been a wild ride. Uh, I am extraordinarily proud of what we have accomplished. Best of luck. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the support.